Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo is probably the world's most disgusting Christmas icon, but he's also one of South Park's most recognizable characters and has become a bona fide symbol of the holiday season. We're here to explore the history of this gross but lovable Christmas mascot. While it seems like Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo might just be something that the reliably wacky, gross, and crude South Park writing staff squeezed out, the character predates the series by more than two decades. The sentient singing stool sample was invented by South Park co-creator Trey Parker's father in the early 1970s. As Parker explained to Variety, When I was three years old, I had a bad habit of not flushing the toilet after I was finished. My mother asked my father to have a little talk with me about toilet flushing. He told me that if I didn't, Mr. Hanky will come out of the toilet and annoy you forever. In other tellings, Parker has recalled his father being a little more harsh, insinuating that if he failed to flush, his leavings would transform into Mr. Hanky, who would then come after little Trey and try to straight up kill him. On the one hand, this is one of the grossest ways to traumatize a child into good behavior. On the other hand, it appears to have worked. <laughs> Mr. Hankey makes his entrance in the middle of the first season of South Park, but has never become much more than a minor recurring character on a richly developed, well-populated series. This low-key fate wasn't set in stone, however. Show creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone initially had much bigger plans for the living, laughing excrement, with Parker recalling on a South Park DVD commentary track, Mr. Hankey was something we wanted to make even in college. When we were making the South Park shorts, we always talked about making a short with Mr. Hankey. That short film never got made, but some of the plot points were ultimately used in Mr. Hankey the Christmas Pooh, the 1997 South Park episode that introduces the character. Stone explained a scene where the poo is revealed to be alive. In the shorts that never got made, Mr. Hankey would have been just a figment of the imagination of a disturbed young child, who smears stuff on the walls and claims his poo is sentient. The Mr. Hankey that made it to the screen is just as gross, but at least his maker, Kyle, can be afforded a little more respect. South Park's origins lie in two crudely animated short cartoons called The Spirit of Christmas that Trey Parker and Matt Stone made in the early 1990s. After seeing the first short, in which Jesus fights Frosty the Snowman, Fox Network executive Brian Graydon commissioned Parker and Stone to make another cartoon he could use as a Christmas card. After this, Parker and Stone took a few meetings about developing an animated series. Behold my glory. Rather than pitching adventures with the four little boys from the spirit of Christmas, Parker and Stone's initial pitch for a series was the Mr. Hankey Show, an animated series about the life-imbued piece of fecal matter who was the focus of their unmade short cartoon. Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman would have been supporting characters, with Mr. Hankey center stage, commenting on life and current events. Braden, Parker, and Stone's contact of Fox adamantly refused to put a show about excrement on television, and so the writers heeded some advice they'd been given and instead developed South Park, a show about four kids living in a strange town. The duo found corporate champions in Comedy Central, where executives expressly told Parker and Stone that they had no problem with Mr. Hankey, and thus some very strange history was made. Mr. Hankey debuted in the South Park episode entitled Mr. Hankey the Christmas Poo. First airing on December 17, 1997, it was a monumental, watershed moment in the animated series history, with effects ranging far beyond the mere introduction of a talking turd. Mr. Hankey the Christmas Poo is the first of many Christmas episodes in South Park history, and introduces many familiar South Park tunes, including Eric Cartman's classic number, Kyle's Mom is a Big Fat and of course, Mr. Hankey's own Christmas Carol style theme song. Mr. Hankey the Christmas Poo is also the first ever musical South Park episode, predating both the movie South Park Bigger, Longer and Uncut, and Parker and Stone's Broadway hit The Book of Mormon. Additionally, Mr. Hankey's arrival coincides with the introduction of two other South Park characters. His very special episode marks the debut of troubled kid Craig Tucker and that of guidance counselor Mr. Mackey, who attempts to convince Kyle that he isn't really interacting with a talking Christmas poo. In your screwed up little head, he's the only friend you have. The holiday spirit of Mr. Hankey is so strong that it ends up subverting one of South Park's most famous and popular early tropes. Mr. Hankey the Christmas Pooh is the first episode where the frequently killed Kenny somehow doesn't die. Talk about groundbreaking. Mr. Hankey's real-world origins are rooted in Trey Parker's childhood, but in the universe of the TV series, the character's beginnings are a whole lot muddier. 
In fact, it's actually never quite revealed how Mr. Hankey came to be. Clues to his origins are spread out over his occasional appearances, which span two decades. They suggest he's an ancient being of tremendous magical gifts. In Red Slay Down, he visits the ageless Santa Claus, and the two appear to be old friends. And while Kyle is the first person in South Park to discover Mr. Hankey when the magical creature pops out of his toilet, Chef, for some reason, already knows about the friendly piece of feces. Mr. Hankey is clearly not just some of Kyle's waste sprung to life, though if you can believe it, that's still about as much as we know. Mr. Hankey wasn't always a holiday character, with Parker explaining in a South Park DVD commentary, I'd actually been drawing Mr. Hankey since I was a kid, and I'd been drawing him with a little sailor's hat, instead of a Christmas hat, since elementary school. A remnant of this nautical Mr. Hankey survives in a piece of obscure South Park ephemera. In the opening title sequence of the unaired original pilot episode of South Park, Mr. Hankey briefly bounces across the screen, wearing a primitive version of the hat. Bookending his time in South Park, he dons a sailor hat once again when he's thrown out of town in a 2018 episode. After establishing Mr. Hankey the Christmas Pooh as a bit of modern seasonal storytelling on par with The Simpsons' long-running Treehouse of Horror episodes for Halloween, South Park and Columbia Records capitalized on the popularity of the character just two years after his debut. In 1999, coupled with a TV special of the same name, Mr. Hankey's Christmas classics hit the shelves. The album features the Mr. Hankey theme song and other South Park holiday originals, such as Merry F Christmas, as performed by Mr. Garrison, and Kyle Broflowski's The Lonely Jew on Christmas. The novelty record proved to be a hit, ranking among the top 40 best-selling holiday albums of 1999, as reported by Billboard. In what must have felt like an era-defining moment, Mr. Hankey's Christmas classics ended up ranking just below a Charlie Brown Christmas and ahead of a Christmas album by Barbara Streisand, whom South Park depicted as the wicked colossus Mecca Streisand in 1998. Prior to South Park's debut in 1997, cable TV's most notorious animated series was Nickelodeon's The Ren and Stimpy Show. Created by John Chris Lucy, it features the adventures of a rage-prone chihuahua named Ren and his friend, a cat named Stimpy. In October 1997, Chris Lucy debuted a web series that features a character named Nutty the Friendly Dump, a jovial talking feces log. A couple months later, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh, another jovial talking feces log, made made his debut on South Park and Chris Falusi called foul, telling E! Online, I got nine messages on my answering machine from people who said South Park took like ten of your ideas and put them in one episode. I suppose it could be a coincidence, everyone likes dump humor. South Park co-creator Trey Parker wrote an open letter denying that Mr. Hankey was a ripoff of Nutty the Friendly Dump. After explaining that Mr. Hankey was the invention of his father, Parker said, it is my hope that this personal letter will put an end to your attempts to slander me and my poo. The gesture worked, although a few days later, Chris Lucy expressed a desire for Parker to, at the very least, admit that South Park was inspired by Ren and Stimpy. As South Park's modern-day Christmas legend tells viewers, Mr. Hankey lives in toilets and emerges during the holidays. His magical nature is undeniable, but could it be possible that Mr. Hankey has also made his presence felt in space? After all, there is precedent set by the 1964 cult classic Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. In January 2019, NASA engineer Kevin M. Gill tweeted a picture of the planet Jupiter, captured by the Juno spacecraft the previous September and then enhanced. The photo depicts a gigantic oblong object on the surface of the largest planet in the solar system. Said shape is long, brown, and very closely resembles Mr. Hankey the Christmas Poo, as Gill pointed out. As you might realize, this association is somewhat appropriate, as Jupiter is, after all, a gas giant. According to a press release Gill sent to HuffPost, Mr. Hankey is the unofficial nickname for what is technically called a brown barge or cyclonic region on the planet. What's even stranger, the picture of this Mr. Hankey-esque spot on Jupiter emerged just weeks after South Park broadcast the episode in which the Christmas character is forced into exile. Having been thrown off TV, Mr. Hankey apparently decided to take his magic to another dimension. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about South Park, Christmas, and everything in between are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.